Recording live from the Hickory Hut studio on the campus of Defiance College, this is The Session with Billy and Ryan. Today's Thursday, February 2nd. It's Groundhog Day. It is Groundhog Day, Jake. Yes, today is February 2nd. It's Groundhog Day. And we are back. <laughs> it's Groundhog Day. <laughs> in the Hickory Hut Studios. I hit my face on my microphone. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Today in the studios, we have Ryan Imbrock. That's me. Marissa Guyton. Hello. And huh? Jake Atkins. I love the intro, Billy. Every time. Hey, Thank you. Always, man. I'm always. feeling a little left out. You should introduce me you, like you're that. You're not left out because you're on my right you side. You just race past us two. Yeah. For nothing. Because everyone knows you guys, and I'm trying to like... Hype up Jake. Oh, now I feel a little better. Okay, there you go. See? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. It's Groundhog Day. It is Groundhog Day. So, so we, should we do news? I think we should do news. Jake, why don't you go first? News. <laughs> Yellow Jackets, please join the Office of Student Life this Friday, February 3rd from 12 to 2 in the hive for bingo. Bingo! The prizes will be munch money, mm. so you don't want to miss out on a chance to win and try the awesome new food in the hive. Oh, that sounds like a very good promo. Good job. If I was going to shout bingo, I would shout it like this. Bingo! Sounds like like you're saying bazinga. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we can't say that. That's trademarked, you know. Yeah. Marissa, do you have news? Evidently, Billy's not doing his job today. I I am doing my... I was waiting for you to do... And you're like, should we do news? And usually you go first like all the time. I know. I wanted to mix it up. And you're like, hey, Jake, how about you do the news? I don't talk that high. Anyway... (laughs) (laughs) All right, this Sunday, they will be having a Super Bowl watch party in the Hive. The Patriots versus the Falcons. There will be raffles and prizes. It starts at 6.30. Go Colts! <laughs> Steelers yes, for I life. agree. Go Colts. <laughs> go Colts! Dun, much. Dun, dun, dun. Go, Pat, go! They're not in it either. Okay. Well uh, the social work organization still wants volunteers to help them at the 17th annual Empty Bulls fundraiser for the Pass Center. That's Thursday, February 16th. And you know you're available, so let's just cut right to it. All right, the setup. They need help at setup at 3.30 to 4.30. Serving from 4 to 5. Serving from 5 to 6. Serving from 6 to 7. Or tear down from 6.45 to 8 o'clock. So I guess if you show up at 6.45... Some people are going to be tearing down, and some people are going to be filling your bowl. <laughs> Reading between the lines, nobody found that funny. Um, if you would like to volunteer, <laughs> contact Aaron Connor uh, at econor at defiance. Uh, probably 001. 001 at defiance.edu. All right, Mr. Smarty, go on. I'm not going to laugh at my joke. Hey, uh, 2017 Homecoming Theme Contest. If you guys want to be creative and actually want to express how you feel about homecoming mm-hmm. for yes. next fall, yes, please submit your creativities to um, Michelle Tinker at alumni at defiance.edu. Um, and you can also um, put in more creative work ideas. Um, so it's just not one nomination. You can have as many as you want. Just in case you're wondering, I've already submitted Defiance College Homecoming 2017. So don't use that one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so for creative. letting us all know. You're welcome. And our listeners. put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling any of my ideas. I'm, I'm trying to win. I thought you had a good idea. I do, but you guys want to know what good you can for radio. Win? I do. What can you win, Billy? The winner will receive a gift certificate for two large pizzas from Domino's and bragging rights for being selected the 2006, 2017 <laughs> Homecoming <laughs> theme. 2006. <laughs> 2006. <laughs> Remember those days. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, this is a session with Billy and Ryan. We're going to have a special guest. Her name is Cassidy Satin, coming up after this break. Hi, this is Adam Swisher, and new to Defiance this year is the Op Shop. The Op Shop's purpose is to provide professional attire and training to students who don't have the financial or physical means available to attain these necessary elements for interviews or class presentations. The Op Shop is home to over 180 articles of clothing that are free for students to rent and bring back whenever they need it. All of the articles of clothing in the Op Shop have been donated by DC students, faculty, or staff. If you are interested in donating any professional attire, there is a bin in the Hubbard Hall Student Organization Room labeled as the Op Shop Donations. If you have any questions about the Op Shop, please feel free to contact me at aswisher001 at defiance.edu. Thanks, and dress classy, Defiance. Welcome back to the session. Today in the studios, we have Cassidy Santon, the president of APO. Cassidy, thank you for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. So, Cassidy, how is it being president of APO? 
It's pretty awesome. It's something I've been looking forward to being since I joined my freshman year. Are you just saying that because you're the president now or is it something you truly wanted to do? No, it's it's something that I like genuinely enjoyed. Like uh, when I joined my fall of my freshman year, I really looked up to the people on the exec board and I thought it'd be really cool to be a leader in this awesome organization. So do you plan on being the president next year too? Yeah, the um, the terms go from calendar years. Okay. So I'll be president up until December of next year when we have, uh, or December of this year when we have elections. Wow. So you have to be reelected to go through your senior year. No, uh, I would not be up for election this uh, December because I graduate in the oh, spring. Okay. So that, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So Marissa. tell us a little bit about APO and like what we do. And stuff. So APO is um, a service fraternity. So we stand on the pillars of leadership, friendship, and service. And um, we are the only co-ed service fraternity on campus. So we let both men and women join. Um, and basically we do service projects and we collect a bunch of service hours and we um, do fellowships, which is like hanging out and just like having fun. And so, yeah. Now off the air, you referred to yourself as a brother. Yes. So tell me a little bit about that since you guys are what I would call sisters. So brothers we just talked about this at national convention that was in pittsburgh um over winter break me and nine other brothers went out to pittsburgh and we uh went to workshops and stuff and they decided in legislation that brothers in regards to the fraternity is a non-gendered term hmm. so that we're allowed to refer to each other as brothers Interesting. um apo when it originally started it was only open to men Okay. Um, actually, men in a scouting background, so you hmm. had to be in Boy Scouts to join APO. Really? And wow, I did not know that. History lesson, right? Yeah. Here. No kidding. <laughs> and so then later on, um, they opened it up to women to join. And now APO, as a national fraternity, were more than, I think, 70% women. Uh, wow. There's not as many guys in it as there used to be. So. Hmm. Interesting. Guys just don't make, it, make the muster, I guess. Huh? <laughs> anyway... Uh, <laughs> Billy's the, like the what? mustard. Yeah, never it's, heard of that. It's an old time, time. You know, you know how old I am. You are. Mm -hmm. Girls just take over. Yeah, they're that, awesome. We know that, huh, Billy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know who the boss is in here. <laughs> You're so right, Marissa. Marissa is in APO, so you can answer this yes, as well. Sir. What does APO do here on campus? So on campus uh, in the fall, we have a big event that we usually do with the women's volleyball team, which is Purple with a Purpose. Okay. And uh, it's a fundraiser that was started with um, Alicia Kalick for her mom. Yes. Um, and we do the fundraiser for pancreatic cancer awareness. So the okay. money and the funds that we raise from uh, PWAP goes to PCAN, which is the Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Network. It may sound like she is reading us off a piece of paper, but it's all off right off the top of her head. Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we do a lot of uh, service things around campus, just um, different things, especially for Rush Week, like we'll talk about. Um, we just are really involved around campus with different service things. Funny you mentioned Rush Week. That is when? It's next week, February 6th through 10th. And you have uh, your hope is to get as many new recruits as you possibly can. Yes, it's uh, really hard in the spring to get new people to join because we usually get a lot of people in the fall. Okay. But we're always trying to reach out to the people who might have been a little wishy-washy in the fall of like if they'll have time to do it, mm -hmm. um, if they really want to get involved. That's usually who we try to recruit in the spring and show them that like, you know, you belong in APO. What is the ideal APO recruit? Someone who's passionate about service. Okay. Um, I mean that's what we do in APO, we do service hours. So someone who really wants to be there, who wants to build leadership experience and get involved. So the best way to get to join APO is to show up with a shovel and a handshake. Am I correct? Something like that? <laughs> 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 I'm here for service. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes. No? Sure, Ryan, you can show up and <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> show up with a shovel. <laughs> Everyone will run. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we gotten, we've gotten to know you as the APO president. Oh, yes, Marissa. I'm sorry. I was going to continue, but go ahead. So Rush Week is coming up. What is the Rush theme for this semester? Our Rush theme is 90s. Uh, it's 90s themed, 90s kids. Um, so we have a lot of 90s themed events planned. So I could, I could dress up like Green Day, the band. Yeah. How would that be different <laughs> from what you got on now? 
Well, right now I'm rocking a hoodie and sweats. Yeah. So and that's Green different. Day's like jean jackets with like eyeliner and you don't wear eyeliner? <laughs> no. No. I really don't look at you. I guess I need to look at you more. He's just naturally that beautiful. Yes. <laughs> He's just naturally beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Billy. I mean, yes. You're a beautiful man. Thanks, Ryan. Anyway. <laughs> Let's move on. So there's 90s themes, like Rugrats and stuff like that? Pretty much. Um, we have, uh, like, for our Monday night event, we have, um, like, cartoon watching. Cool. And that'll be happening in the Whitney Lobby. 90s cartoons. 90s cartoons. Okay. Um, and then we have a fundraiser going on that'll be on Wednesday and it's um, slime a brother like Nickelodeon oh my. like slime all right um, so you can pay to basically pie a brother with um, slime it'll be shaving cream dyed okay. green to look Ew. like slime all right. yeah it'll be awesome well, I, I donate Billy for that why why me? Well, I don't know. Why I, not? I donate Ryan then. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we're, I got nothing. Two can, two can play that game. I got nothing. Uh, and so, what are some of the other themes? Um, so we also are going to be hosting a workshop. Um, part of APO in our like this this part doesn't go exactly along with um, our theme, but we like to host a workshop to uh, improve leadership skills as okay. part of our APO. Nice. Um, part of our toast song that we sing in APO is uh has a verse that says uh ever mindful ever serving and so we have the pastor from the ucc coming in jim breller mm -hmm. is going to come in to talk to us about what it means to be ever mindful oh okay Sounds and nice. he's really cool the ucc is really awesome they're really open so uh cool. i'm really excited for what he has to present at our workshop cool so, and that'll be a workshop that's open to um all of campus and it'll count towards your service leader requirements as well well, Cassidy is a very knowledgeable president. I'm very impressed. Um, I knew Cassie when she was a freshman, and oh, it's yeah. nice to see you now as a junior. Um, so we've gotten to know you as APO president. Tell us a little bit about you in the classroom and, and what you do academically. So uh, I'm a social work major and a criminal justice major. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm involved in like the social work organization. I'm also in service leaders. Uh, I'm also on track. Are you doing anything with Empty Bulls? Yes, okay. Empty Bowls is coming up. Uh, we've been planning it in my groups and family class and my applied class. Uh, that's when we've been calling people for donations and uh, trying to get volunteers to sign up. Well, you are one active lady. Uh, should we do the Silly Six? I believe so. All right. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume you are not familiar with the Silly Six, Cassidy. I am not. All right. Uh, she is not our listener. We're <laughs> narrowing that down. Um, all right. The Silly Six is where I ask simple questions and you give me simple answers. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Your favorite pop or beverage? Ooh, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Uh, your favorite fast food? Chipotle. Ooh. Ooh we haven't yes. had that. Yum. Yeah. Uh, your favorite show? I really like Chicago Fire. Okay. So, is that your I answer? Is it yeah. because you're from Chicago? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm very biased. I figured. You just I had to work Chicago. that in, huh, Billy? <laughs> I, I had to. Hey, <laughs> Illinoisans, we got to stick together out here oh, in the yeah. small town of Defiance. <laughs> your favorite musician or group? Oh, I listen to too much music to just like pick There's one. There's got to be one. I don't know. I really like Carrie Underwood, I guess. Oh, I was going to guess awesome. NSYNC. I would have been way off, I guess. <laughs> uh, your favorite dessert? Um, fried Oreos. Deep fried Oreos. Ooh. Deep fried Oreos. <laughs> I did not hear that at all. I'm like, why? Anyway, uh, your favorite song that no one knows you like. My favorite what? Your favorite song that no one knows you like. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> is it uh, Bye 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 by NSYNC? That is a good song. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go with that one then. <laughs> you want to sing it for a little bit? Bye, right. bye, bye. <laughs> okay, we're done with that. Oh. Billy well, sings, why you, can't I? Thank you, Cassidy, for being on the show. Uh, it was wonderful to have you. Uh, she's nodding her head. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was awesome uh, to be here. <laughs> <laughs> great interview. I, you are uh, definitely an APO, just encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the session with Billy and Ryan. We'll be right back. This is Hannah Hesterman from the Defiance College women's tennis team, and you are listening to The Session. Hi, this is Katie Tillman, and you're listening to The Session with Billy and Ryan. Welcome back to the session with Billy and Ryan. And thank you, Cassidy, the newest president of APO, for joining us today. Alpha Phi Omega. Thank you for having me. 
Uh, one last thing. Um, we're also going to be having a fundraiser this week, uh, selling Valentine's for Valentine's Day. They're one dollar for Valentine's with um, a piece of candy, and two dollars if you want them with a flower. All right, guys. So I have another story for today. Is this one going to be funny, like the last one? Yeah, I'm glad you guys thought the last one was funny. I thought what I said in it was pretty funny. You know, I think I was laughing because, like, Marissa was so excited to tell us. She was very excited. And I think that's why I was laughing so hard. See, what you don't know is off the air, we heard that, like, three times. (laughs) (laughs) So, like, the third time, it was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Now, this story we have not heard, so go ahead. All right. So, I seriously have a Jesus fish. Um, Like, I swear. Okay. Okay. So, the other day, I come home. And I have a fish named Jay Wow. We started out with Snooky and Jay Wow. Jay Wow? Yeah, like off Jersey Shore. People, oh, I wouldn't have yeah. any idea. Okay. And so we had some other fish in between them. Snooky died first. We only had Jay Wow. Got some more fish. The other fish died. Jay Wow was the only Wait, one left. What's the other fish that died named? They literally died in like one day, so we really didn't name them. Wow. It was like, I don't know, like Roger and G- Gianni, like the other people from Jersey Shore. But anyways, that's not the point. Okay. okay so I come home Sorry. from class and the fish is like on the bottom of the tank okay and so whatever i told my roommate we're all really sad and so then <laughs> we're all really sad <laughs> our <laughs> fish is on the bottom of the day and so whatever we did ta- <laughs> they're probably like oh darn our fish is dead hey no, what's on really tv sad. yeah no that's probably how it went <laughs> anybody want a fish fillet sandwich <laughs> So Sorry. We didn't take her out of the tank yet because, like, we just didn't have time, whatever. Are you sure it's a girl? And No, I'm not sure, but okay. it is. It is. So I'm it's... interrupting you. Okay. Are you Sorry. Done? I am <laughs> okay. oh my done gosh. for a little bit. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So, yes. Okay. And so we didn't take her out of the tank yet, and then I get back from class. Okay. And she's swimming again. Like, upside down or something? No, like, perfectly swimming. Really? What, and what if... What did if you Snapchat you... it? No. Oh, you missed out. That's what if her real. roommate is pranking her? What's she doing? Giving it like a sleeping pill and then like it wakes <laughs> no, up? No, she's probably like breaking back like a dead fish that you guys supposedly flushed or something. Puts it back in there, takes the dead, like takes the live one out. So when you see it, you're like, oh darn, the fish is dead. And That's then, a lot of work. <laughs> not That's... really. It's like once she leaves, like you put the new fish in and then you take the old fish out. And... So the fish was horrible. dead and now it's alive. That's the story? It's alive and then it was dead again and then I woke up this morning and it was women like kind of having little yep. like twitches I'm telling you. i don't know i think it's dying but if it's still dead when i get home we're having a funeral for it today <laughs> if it's still dead when we get home kind of like be- this show <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> hey if you'd like to follow the session find us on facebook by searching the session dc or send us an email at the session at defiance.edu or follow us on twitter at the session underscore dc yes billy you look very upset that i interrupted you what was your funny statement no, I didn't have a funny statement. That sounds normal. Hey, this is the session with Billy and Ryan. He's Billy. <laughs> I'm Ryan. And the Valentine's crew. I have nothing to say right now. Oh, dum, boy. Dum, she is dum, really Jake. Cupid dum, shuffle, dum, yeah. Dum, dum. Jake, you got anything? <laughs> and, nothing. Oh, man, nothing. nothing. All right. This is the session. <laughs> See ya. I have a good one.